All right, so I hear that you are the new action camera on the scene, the Insta360 Go. Oh. Oh. So, um, can you show us at least a little bit of what you can do? Oh. Today is definitely one of the busy days, but we gotta talk about this new camera by Insta360. The Insta360 Go 2? I mean, it looks good from the promos. It looks good. But you guys know how promos be, right? You, you know what I'm talking about. You'll go into Best Buy, look at the brand new GoPro footage, and you're like, that's freaking amazing. You take it home and try it. No, you, you know what I'm talking about. So let's get dressed, do our push-ups and l sit, and see if this camera, the Insta360 Go 2, is worth buying. Uh, hey, okay, studio app. Let's see where we are. 7.25. Not bad. Uh, still not 20K, which means push-ups. Honestly, doing the push-ups isn't too bad, to be real. I mean, it makes me feel good, like, right inside. It makes me feel good for the day. Man, that was a little tough. 20K, we're coming. I think instead of doing tea today, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and hop into the rip. Oh my gosh, don't look at my kitchen. Don't, don't, uh-uh, let's go back, go back. Don't, don't look at it. It's a mess. Ah, I feel so embarrassed. Ah, you know what? Fix it, R real quick, real quick. Ah, right? Just like that, it's done. Okay, I'm, I'm just kidding. I actually just moved it over there. <laughs> No, 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 no. I I'm gonna do the dishes. I'm gonna do the dishes, okay? There. Dishes are done. Minus those. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back to those later. So sometimes when I'm making these vlogs, I find myself being like not myself. And it's not what you think. It's totally not what you're thinking. I find myself kind of being shy when I'm more like, like the real me is like kind of out there. So I have to take multiple takes just so that I can like, just be me more. Cause I, I do get, it's, it's crazy. I do get super nervous sometimes making these videos. And I don't know why. I'm trying to be myself as much as possible on camera. Like as if I was just hanging out with friends. I mean, yeah, but sometimes I just get nervous and you know, you, no, no, let's stop beating around the bush. Let's get into the Insta360 go to. Yo, what is up guys? I'm Sky. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that like button because you a boss. Now, while we've been busy talking about the DJI Pocket 2, Insta360's been busy because they just released the Insta360 Go 2. And from the promos, it looks good. But, is it though? <laughs> Glad you asked. Let's talk about it. Ah. Now, as soon as the promo dropped, everybody in the world had one. Except for me. It's 360 Come on, man. Come we were boys. I thought we were homie. Hook, hook me up. But you, anyway, now first impressions from a promos. It's very small. Now size does matter, but we're gonna get to that at the end of the video. It weighs like less than a pound. It comes in this iPod looking case thing, which is awesome. We're definitely living in the future. So the case also doubles as a battery charger as well as a tripod. And if you want to mount this thing on a selfie stick, there is a quarter inch thread at the bottom of the case. Genius. I mean, who doesn't want to walk around with an AirPod case on a selfie stick? Hey, look at me, yo, yo, woo, woo. Who doesn't want that? I mean, look at these people. They look happy. The world is a playground to them. They're also excited about this new AirPod case Insta360 Go 2. Now, it also comes with 32 gigs of internal storage, which is pretty solid. And from looking at other creators, it looks like it comes with a ton of accessories. It has like this sticky mount where it looks like you could just place it anywhere. So you can get some really cool shots. An accessory that I liked the most that I liked for the Go 1 was the magnetic pendant. Like I love the idea of just snapping it on and going. Like seriously, that would be my go-to. Huh? R right? Right? Oh, and another thing I like about it is the automatic horizon leveling. That, come on, that genius. But, and yes, there's a big butt in this one. It definitely has some flaws. The first one being the time limit on the recording. Oh, come on guys, I, we, 
we in 2021. Come on, we're not doing this no more, okay? Just, just stop with the record time limits, okay? And then the next one has to be the quality. Now, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I know what I said. It looks amazing in these promos, but I told you it was a big but. When you look at the creator reviews, it, it, it's not the same. Low light image quality isn't that great. There's like jump textures sometimes. The skin tones, now you guys know how I feel about the skin tones. I guess, I guess that's what we're doing these days. I mean, just glamorizing everybody right out of the camera. Also, the camera doesn't shoot in 4K, not even 2.7K. I think it shoots at like, I wanna say like 1K or... And then to top it all off, the biggest problem of them all is the price. This camera, the Insta360 Go 2, it's $300. Oh God, please no! Now, if it was $250, I could, I could see that. But $300, like I feel like it should have been around the $250, $200 range. $300, that's too much for a camera that doesn't shoot 4K. And also, this camera is advertised to be more of a action camera. It's got, what's the problem with that? Glad you asked. The problem with this price is that you can already get an amazing action camera for $200. Password. And, and boom, look at that. Boom, what, what is that? 199. You know what, let's get one of these babies real quick. Ah, right, right, look at that. Solid 4K action camera. Went up my nose. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, Yes, this is a DJI Osmo Action. It runs for about 199, shoots 4K 60. And if you wanna get that super crisp and clean slow motion, it also shoots at 240 frames per second in 1080p. And also, it is the OG, like seriously. Come on, GoPro 9, come on. It's the OG of the front facing screen. Boom, like come on, C guys, come on, the footage looks way better and it's just $200. When I was watching the promo footage of the Insta360 GO 2 versus the creator footage of the Insta360 GO 2, they didn't look the same. But for example, when I was looking at Matty Apoya's sample footage, best friends of the Insta360 GO 2, when he was out snowboarding, it didn't look that great. I was like, mm, mm. and don't get me wrong, the footage is totally usable and it's, it's doable, it's just, for $300? And you're not even getting 4K? Three, come on, it's a, it's a 360. $300? You're, you're, not, you're not even getting 2.7K. But again, I'm not trying to down talk the Insta360 go to. I just can't understand why they made it $300. Here's some of Maddie's footage with him snowboarding. I'm tired already. How you feeling, Tyler? <laughs> Here's some of my footage skiing. Yeah, I love snowboarding, but I, I fell off a cliff once, so. And guys, guys, you know me. I like to shoot straight out of camera. That is straight out of camera. No color correction, nothing. I didn't even shoot in flat profile. It's DJI's default picture profile. I mean, it does, it looks really good. But anyway, to wrap things up, Insta360 go to, I don't, I'm not sure about it. It does look decent. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, I'm really not trying to bash this camera. It actually looks pretty good. And also, the audio straight out of camera actually sounds decent as well. Like, seriously, it actually sounds better than the DJI Osmo Action. But does it sound $300 better? So, who is this camera targeted toward? To me, I feel like this camera is more for POV shooters. You can, like, you can even say POV drone shooters, as well as POV social media influencers. Like, I can totally see the Insta360 Go 2 being for those kind of influencers. And then when it comes to like action sports and things, I'm a little split 50-50, just because of the price and maybe the skin tones too. But yeah, if you are in the market for a new action camera and you're looking for something that's under $300, I can highly recommend the DJI Osmo Action. It's 200 bucks, it is solid. Like this thing, we have been through a lot. Oh, and side note, I think the DJI Osmo Action 2 might be coming, but yeah. That's my opinion. Insta360 is seriously pumping out some good cameras though. Like, just to be real, they are pumping out some cameras. So, I mean, good job Insta360. Like, I can't wait to see what the Go 3 would probably look like, you know? I feel like it's there, but it's just, it's, it's just not 
quite there. But anyway, thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Also, if you are brand new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because we are trying to hit that big 1,000 mark. Oh, and thank you for everyone who went on Instagram and did the vote. The, the votes are in and we are getting this coat rack for Maddie Apoya. So yeah, guys, thank you again. And thank you so much for watching the channel. Holy cow, man, we are growing. It's, oh man, I don't know how much I can tell you guys. Thank you. I try to provide as much information as I can in these vlogs and just reading you guys' comments and just seeing the likes and things, man, it, like seriously, it's, it's amazing. Like, thank you so much. But, but that's all I got, guys. Thank you, oh my gosh. Thank you for 700 subscribers, and I will see you guys in the next video. And again, Insta360, great job on Insta360 Go 2. <sighs> Fix the skin tones, would you? Like, just for me. for me. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video.